All right. So we are now ready to grab this waffle. Ooh, look at that, guys. <gasps> My lord, you guys. and welcome back to Cheap Lazy Vegan and another video. So today's video is gonna be some meal ideas for those of you that don't wanna be cooking today, okay? I know that we all have those days when you just don't feel like cooking, okay? But you need to eat something, right? So today I wanna show you guys just some really simple ideas that you can make when you don't feel like cooking. Obviously, there's so many. I have three ideas for you today. And if you guys want more ideas, I'm gonna have some more recipe videos linked down below. So make sure you check that out. But without further ado, let's get started with idea number one. All right, you guys, so the first recipe slash meal idea is gonna be a very lazy, creamy peanut butter udon, okay? So, udon noodles, must have for the lazy person, okay? So these are pretty much like ready to go. You just have to boil it for maybe two minutes, but we're actually gonna use the microwave today because we're not gonna be slaving over the stove, okay? We're gonna try making this with a microwave. So if you are in a dorm situation, you can make this, okay? So we have udon noodles, what I'm gonna do is is I'm just gonna place it into a microwave safe bowl and I'm also gonna add in some hot water. This is already boiled water. I'm just gonna add that in just to cover the udon. And then I'm also gonna add in some frozen edamame beans and frozen mixed vegetables. This again, it's pretty much ready to eat. You just have to heat it up or thaw it out. So I'm gonna add this in here as well. And then we're just gonna pop this in the microwave. I'm gonna do maybe like two minutes and then I think it'll be pretty much good to go. All right, so while the udon noodles are in the microwave, you can actually prepare the sauce. So it's gonna be so easy. We're just gonna put together some peanut butter, of course. We're making like a creamy peanut butter situation. So we have some peanut butter here. By the way, if you guys need measurements, it's all in a blog post linked below as always. We're also gonna add in some maple syrup, some apple cider vinegar, and soy sauce. So we're just gonna mix this well. All right, so if you're having some issues mixing, take a whisk, but I would recommend mixing together the peanut butter with the maple syrup to thin it out first, and then add in the liquids, and that way it'll be easier to mix, but I did not do that, but that's okay. We're getting there, look at this. Breaking apart that peanut butter. There you go, we want that kind of creamy sauce. If you don't want to use peanut butter or if you're allergic, you can use like almond butter, maybe even cashew butter, maybe tahini, but there you go. There's the peanut butter sauce, and now I think our noodles are ready. All right guys, so the udon noodles, that worked. Oh my gosh, I know. Two minutes in the microwave. I just drained it and then I separated the udon noodles, which just eat like this with the, with the chopsticks. And then it's pretty much ready. Now I'm just gonna add in the sauce. Ooh. Oh my gosh, guys, I feel like it's gonna be really good. Now you can do this on the stove, of course, okay? If you're not feeling like super duper lazy, you can do this on the stove, but this is perfect for those of us that are just not feeling like, you know, washing a pot, you know what I'm saying? You know, we just wanna make something quick in the microwave. All right, so now that we have a plate, you can pretty much enjoy it like this, or you can add a little bit of crushed red peppers. Ooh, delicious. And I'm also gonna, of course, top with some toasted sesame seeds my usual, and there you go. Creamy peanut butter udon, literally made in a microwave, so simple. What an easy dish to make. Let's try it. Oh, you guys, look at this. Super easy, super simple. Don't even need to cook it, just microwave. Let's give this a little try. Mmm, that is delicious. I think it would taste better with natural peanut butter because this one is not natural. This is like a, you know, it has like sugar and stuff added. But if you just have natural peanut butter, I think it'd be extra creamy and delicious. But it's still really, really good. I mean, I mean, come on. It's a meal made in a microwave in like two minutes, okay? Look at that. Look at that. All right, you guys, so the second recipe is gonna be a couscous salad. Big fan of couscous because you don't have to really cook it, you just put it in some boiled water and then it literally just magically cooks itself in like less than five minutes. So that's what we're gonna do. We have here some couscous. Into the couscous, I'm gonna add some garlic powder and some Italian seasoning. And then all we have to do is add 
some boiled water. This is literal magic. Honestly, when I learned this, I had so much couscous. So then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cover this up with a little plate. Just let it sit and then we can prepare everything else. So you can add into the salad kind of whatever you want, but I'm gonna add in some artichoke hearts. You can get the marinated kind or the canned kind, whatever. I'm gonna use the canned kind. If you get the marinated kind, actually that's like a little hack because it's already flavored, so that's nice. I'm just gonna do about two artichoke hearts. I'm just gonna roughly chop it. And I'm also going to top up some roasted red peppers. Now, did you know you can buy it in a jar? I know. So this is roasted red peppers. Of course, you can roast your red peppers yourself. Very nice, but it takes a long time. So a lot of us don't have it. So instead, you can buy a nice jar of roasted red peppers. Okay. And it is delicious. So we're just going to take two little pieces. Oof. I love roasted red peppers. Again, we're just going to chop it nicely. Oh, it's so good. So those alone are gonna add some deliciousness into the salad. And then you can just pretty much put together some kind of really fast dressing. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm winging it guys. I have here some red wine vinegar. You can also use like white wine vinegar if you want, maybe even balsamic vinegar, I don't know. I also have here some extra virgin olive oil. We're just gonna add that in here. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of maple syrup just to sweeten it up a little bit, you know? Mix that. And there is our dressing. And of course you can feel free to add in whatever other veggies you want. I think any type of roasted veggies would go really, really well with this. But let's check on our couscous. Five minutes later, here's our couscous. I know, amazing. So we're gonna add this into a bowl. You can actually do this directly in the bowl that you're gonna serve it in. And then we're gonna add some kind of protein, of course. I just have a few of these chickpeas left. I would probably add more, but we're just gonna use this up. And then let's add in our roasted peppers and our artichokes, and then our dressing. Oh my God, I'm excited. This reminds me of this salad I used to eat all the time when I was living in the UK. It was from Waitrose and it was like a roasted couscous salad or something. And it was actually really tasty. And um, yeah, I still, I wanna, I wanna make like my own version of that, but maybe this will be it guys. Maybe this will be it. Plate it. All right, so we've plated it. Now I'm gonna top with some green onion. I always keep some chopped green onion in my, in my fridge, just ready to go. And I also wanna top with some pumpkin seeds. I feel like that would be a nice addition. Ooh, and there you go. It doesn't look so pretty, but let's try it. So now it is the moment of truth. Let's try this couscous salad with artichoke cards, roasted bell pepper. Mmm. Guys, that's actually legit. It really reminds me of that Waitrose salad. <laughs> Those of you in the UK, tell me. It's like in a little square and it has like a plastic thing that you just like. Anyway, I used to like live on those because they were really cheap and they're actually very tasty. But this actually reminds me of, mm, of that salad. So simple, so easy, so delicious. This is fantastic. Not even just as a lazy recipe, just like, just delicious. Try it out. All right, friends, so last but not least, we're gonna do a very, very classic PB&J. You guys are like, what? Come on, Rose, can we do something more? You know what? PB&J is the perfect staple for those of us that don't wanna cook, okay? It's the perfect lazy dish, lazy meal, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna make it a little bit more interesting by using a waffle iron, okay? We're gonna use this and it's gonna be extra special. So I'm gonna call this a grilled PB&J because it's gonna be a little bit more of a special PB&J. So we're gonna take two pieces. I'm going to use whole wheat toast. You can use whatever toast you want, okay? I have whole grain, whole wheat, whatever you call these. And then on one side, I'm going to add some vegan butter. Yeah, uh-huh. Vegan butter. Beautiful. You can add as much as you want, really. This is like a leveled up PB&J, you know what I mean? And then I'm going to turn this around, and then let's do our peanut butter. You know, some people don't even know that peanut butter is vegan just because there's a word butter in it. Come on, you guys. Come on, guys. Okay, peanut butter is vegan. Beautiful. And then some jelly, whatever jelly you want. I'm using strawberry jam. And then we close it up. Ooh. We put it on a waffle iron. Ooh. All right, let's do this, guys. And then just kind of press it down, okay? Don't be, don't be shy. 
Don't be shy. Press it down and then we wait about two minutes and then we can see the magic. All right, you guys, let's check on it. Ooh, ooh, look at that. Oh my God, guys, come on. That is a leveled up PB and J, if I may say so myself. Let's, I wanna see this. Ooh, you guys, I mean, come on, come on. <laughs> let's just, we're gonna need to cut this up and have a look. Ooh, oh my God, you guys, it looks so good. I can't wait to eat it. All right, guys, so we're also gonna do a second version of this PB&J, but this time we're gonna add some banana as well, because I just wanna see. I think it's gonna be delicious. So again, butter, vegan butcher, and turn that around. Let's add on our peanut butter. Generous amount, beautiful. And then on the other side, again, we're gonna add some jelly. Strawberry jam or whatever jam of your choice. And we're gonna add in some banana slices. Here we go. Now we close this up. And now we're gonna make PB and B and J waffle. Ooh la la. Ooh. Ooh, I'm so excited for this one. <laughs> I think it's gonna be extra delicious. Okay, I'll see you in a second. All right. So we are now ready to grab this waffle. Ooh, look at that, guys. <gasps> My lord, you guys. This is one leveled up waffle, or P PB and J. Let, let me see the other side. Ooh. I mean, come on, you guys. Why make waffles when you can just make this? <laughs> this looks so good. Now let's try it. So here it is. I made one here. I made it a little bit more special by adding in a little bit of blueberries and then some powdered sugar on top as well as a little bit of cinnamon. You don't have to do this, okay? It looks nice. It almost looks like a really indulgent breakfast, but it's so simple. It's literally just PB&J, okay? So first, let's try this one. It's nice and crispy. Oh my gosh, you guys. It's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Let's try this PB&J waffle. Mmm! Mmm! My friends, that is the perfect way to make PB&J. I'm never gonna make it any other way, ever. Mmm, mmm. Now let's try the one with banana as well. Oh my God, this is actually like, why make waffles, you know? That's too difficult. Just make PB&J waffles. Let's try this little piece here. With banana, we got some cinnamon on top. Ooh, we got peanut butter, we got jam. Mmm. Mm. You guys, this might be the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich I've ever had. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right, you guys, so that's it for my very easy and lazy recipes or meals that you can make when you don't feel like cooking. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. These are all so delicious and so easy and so lazy and you don't have to slave over the stove, which is so great. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And of course, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. And I will have all of these recipes in a blog post linked down below. So don't forget to check that out as well. And I will have some other videos for you to check out as well. If you are really into very quick and very easy vegan recipes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.